Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Gigi Warrior. Thanks so much for tuning in today with an episode that I have done previously before, but I thought I'm gonna redo the whole thing and explain you one more time how you can lower your bike. I'm gonna go over all the options, how you can lower your bike, and we're gonna start from the simple stuff like the dark bones, the non-adjustable ones, to the adjustable ones, to the creme de la creme, the tr tricky air ride suspension which you can get for the Yamaha Roadster Warrior. So stay tuned guys. And I see you guys in a little bit. Run. So before we get started with the video, I just want to point something out to you guys, which is actually very important. When you buy lowering links or any type of, you know, lowering system like a tricky air ride or bearings adjustable links, you are running the risk of scraping your pipes. For example, if they are too low. I like to write the slam look. As you can see, my bike is completely slammed down, but I have it just enough raised that I can still, you know, make a right turn and I don't scratch my pipe. So be careful about that. You know, I don't want you to scratch your brand new chrome pipes, bling bling, and then it's all scratched up and stuff. So uh, make sure you take care of that. All right, let's start with the first uh, product. It's the Pacific Coast Star lowering links or aka dark bones which you can see right here in the screen these are easy to install i did it myself installation time is probably something between 30 minutes maybe 45 depending how skilled you are and these will lower your bike by one inch and three quarters from stock now like i said these are these types that you cannot adjust so once it's lowered it's gonna stay like this you cannot raise it again or anything so you draw, uh, your bike will be dropped by one inch and three quarters, just like it says on the website. Second option, Barron's adjustable links. I have a pair of Barron's adjustable links on my bike. These are great. Are also very simple to install, you know, should take something between 45 minutes to an hour or so. Uh, depending on the skill set and these are adjustable. Okay, so the Barron's adjustable links lower your bike by two inches That's pretty far down and I love these also one tip when you have a tricky air ride suspension Make sure you get the Barron's adjustable links as well Just in case why am I saying this very simple if you have a tricky air ride suspension and your compressor fails or your air ride suspension itself You run the risk of the fender hitting the tire you don't want that. So what you can do is with the Barron's adjustable links, you can install these and set the stop right before the tire. So just in case you bottom out, you don't bottom out on the tire and cause an accident or something, all right? So I got you, bro. Uh, I'm watching out for all you guys. Let's move on to the next product. All right, the next product is the creme de la creme of all the slam look Yamaha warriors out there and other bikes, and it's the tricky air ride suspension it's the most expensive way to go but i'm telling you guys if you have the money or maybe you can find one used it's definitely worth the upgrade the look is completely crazy good it gives you a nice slant look like on my bike for example with the with a nice fat tire setup with uh, you know uh, custom fender and all that stuff so um, it's definitely worth it. No new price of the tricky air ride suspension is $900. There's other companies out there, but I hear the customer service and stuff is not as great. I would recommend to go for the tricky air ride. It's specifically made for the Yamaha Warrior. They also have kits for different uh, bikes, like I think the Raider and other, and other bikes. But this one you can still get for the Yamaha Warrior tricky air ride. They also call it TAR, T-A-R on the forums, you know, just in case you were wondering, what does TAR mean? You know, what are they talking about? It means tricky air ride suspension. You can buy it used for around $400, $500, depending on the condition, you know, and brand new, they are something between eight and $900. So if you want a slam look like this, go ahead, get yourself the tricky air ride suspension. Don't forget the Barron's adjustable links because they are really important. Okay, now, What's next? You have your lowering links, but now you feel kind of maybe you know, the suspension is not great or so. Absolutely no problem. There are springs out there you can buy. One of them are two versions of the iBus springs, uh, the 1000 pound version and the 1100 uh, version. So my recommendation is if you ride two up and you want a better spring, you know, get yourself the iBus 1100 however if you're a solo rider go get yourself the 1000 pound iva spring they're very cheap they cost something between 70 and 80 dollars and um, very easy to get german quality like always 
Deutschland, Deutschland. Anyways, now if you want a progressive spring, there is one out there from Pacifico Star. Pacifico Star offers a progressive spring up to 1250 pounds so if you ride two up you know you can raise it or if you ride by yourself you know you can adjust it that's really cool they also sell the dog bones and the progressive uh, spring as a kit really cool stuff so we have covered everything so so far in terms of lowering the yamaha warrior if the video was of any value to you please hit the subscribe button share it with other people show it to them if they want to lower your bike you know show them the video maybe they can uh, get some information out of this question for you guys. What do you ride? What are you riding with? Dark bones, Barron's adjustable links, tricky air suspension, or maybe a complete different company? Comment below, hit the subscribe button, share with your friends, and I see you guys in the next one. It's a boy GD Warrior. Don't fucking die.